Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. And what we're going to show you today is how to get a high level professional cinematic grade using a mobile device such as your iPad and iPhone using various apps to get a refined cinematic look to take your footage to the next level. We have opened up LumaFusion and as you can see we have pre-selected a whole lot of shots that we will work with. The first step is where we're going to start with applying a LUT and then add some basic color corrections to refine the look that we want. So let's go into shot number one. We're going to double tap on the clip. Now we're in the color and effects panel. As you can see, we've preloaded the spectrum grades LUTs. You can view them over here. The installation is pretty simple and very quick. And once it's installed, it then stays in LumaFusion every time you start it up. The great benefit about these LUTs is that you can use them on your desktop editors as well, such as Premiere Pro, Final Cut, and DaVinci. You can then use them as you please. So let's start off with a shot. And as you can see, we've gone into the LUT section here and they've given us a whole lot of previews to see what these particular LUTs do. I'm gonna go with the one that I think is quite nice and personally will be go for this one. Okay, as you can see, it looks amazing and we've already got a really strong grade. What we do notice is that it's slightly dark and it could just be brightened up just a tiny bit. Now, what we can do is then go to your first panel over here and you're then gonna add a basic color adjustment. Now that fits underneath the actual LUT over here, as you can see. The thing to do here is you minimize the menu. This handle will then come up and you can then shift it above the actual LUT. So we're gonna expand the menu and we're now gonna just refine it. We're gonna just increase the brightness and we don't want to blow out the lights too much. So we still wanna maintain detail in the highlights and we can pull it down or up the brightness and um, you know it's quite nice you can also then increase saturation or desaturate a little bit okay so i quite like it without any adjustments on the saturation on this particular one but i do want to just kind of play with the the contrast a little bit um, on this particular tool the levels tool it's quite nice. Um, I will then not make it as bright, just slightly darker before and after. Now, this is looking great. I'll then play it forward. Click on this color and effects menu and it will go full screen. You can then just go and press play and you can see the effect over there. Let's go into the next shot. We're gonna do the same thing go to shot number two and we're looking at a more extreme shot where there's a lot of backlighting we're going to double tap on the clip we can start off again we're going to add the 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 basic adjustment we're not going to do anything yet we're going to go to the light as you can see this is a lot of backlight sun coming straight into camera but i think this could lend itself to a sort of more stronger look which is looking great it actually works super well and then what we can do is just do the basic tweaks once again now we've going to do these adjustments over here and in my opinion i think we can just drop the saturation just a tiny bit there we go and i quite like that it uh really looks very good as it is without and with the light. Great, now let's go to a more challenging shot. This one over here. We start off with a shot where the sun is behind you, then the camera rotates around and then it goes, the sun goes more towards you. So it becomes more backlit scene. Now the exposure was set for that particular angle and now it is actually at that point a little bit different then we go into the clip and we will start off at the beginning of the shot okay let's go to the front end of the shot we're then going to go to the light and 
apply it. We are going to go with, let's see, go with this one here. I quite like that. Okay, so now we're going to then add our basic uh, color adjustment. There we go. We are then going to shift that up. And then we're going to do some basic tweaks to, to for, for this particular angle of the camera. So I'd like to just give it a bit more contrast. Um, just get the clouds to pop out a bit more. And there we go. There we go. So we don't want the, the clouds to lose detail. Uh, we could increase brightness like that. And there we go. Increase contrast. Again, before and after. So let's play it. Okay, that's looking fantastic. I'm really happy with that. But now let's go a little bit further on in the shot. You'll see everything kind of blows out. This area over here loses a lot of detail. So let's do this. We're going to go back into our edit. We're going to probably go to about, let's say this point about halfway we're going to cut it okay and then what we're going to do is we are then going to go into the second half and we're going to edit this particular shot we're going to go to right to the end and we're then just going to adjust it accordingly we're going to pull down the brightness readjust the the contrast and everything so that you start getting the detail back in the clouds As you can see, we've done some basic adjustments and we have balanced the image at the end of the shot. We are now going to go back to the edit. Now the wonderful trick to this is we're going to add a transition. Let's go to the top corner over here and we're going to select transitions. And then we're going to take the cross dissolve and we're going to add that. Let's zoom in a bit. Command plus on the keyboard and we are then going to stretch out this transition let's uh command minus go back now you can see both the clips there's the beginning part of the first clip and there's the end part of the second clip and what we've done is we have now created a crossfade between the two grades now if we play it back you can see that it seamlessly maintains the grade across both shots and it's balanced all the way through. Now the next shot that we've got is going to be something that really gives your shot a beautiful touch. We have now gone back to the edit. As you can see we've got two identical shots and this is just for demonstration purposes to illustrate the difference. We're on the second shot we are then going to duplicate the same shot. It will duplicate it above it. Okay. Then we're going to double tap on this top layer. We're then going to add a blur. We're going to add about a 20. It really doesn't matter. These are presets on the amount. So you can choose 100. And it's the same Gaussian blur. But let's pull it down to about 14 or 15. Really doesn't matter at this point because you'll see exactly what we're going to do. Uh, as you can see now, we've got the blurred layer on top of the unblurred layer. If we hide that layer, you can see it is clear. And we then unhide it. Now we're on the top layer. We're going to go to this bottom icon over here. It's called frame and fit. And we are then going to expand the blending mode we are then going to pull blending mode all the way to let's say something that you feel will be really nice so we are going to go to let's say 20 25 percent opacity what this is actually doing is it's creating a soft layer on top of the footage and it still maintains detail and sharpness. Now the trick to this is subtlety. Just tweak it up a bit. We can then go to, let's say, the blur amount. And we can reduce that a bit more or a bit less. Because we don't want it to look too hazy. We want it to still have detail. 
And if we look at that, before and after, it's such a subtle effect, but makes such a beautiful difference. And then we can go to the, the opacity again and just refine that amount. So we can pull it down to sort of, so it's not as strong, um, maybe 13 or 14. That, that should be quite good. Let's go back to the edit page, the cut page, and let's go full screen, press play. The other added benefit about this effect is that it actually, in a way, denoises the footage. So LumaFusion does not have any noise reduction. And this is a way to soften, keep detail, and to reduce a little bit of noise. Now what I've added are some Cinescope bars, which I've added into the description of the video. So I'll unhide it. And as you can see, it's now created a top layer where it gives you that Cinescope effect. You can use it to your own accord. This is the effect, as you can see, just double tap over here. Again, that's uh, the Cinescope bars. You can see the effect on how that looks. It really gives a nice cinematic feel. One more trick. Again, let's go into the first shot. We are then going to go to the coloring effect. So now what we're going to do is add a very subtle vignette. Let's go to the top menu over here. Third icon on the top. And we're going to go to, let's say, vignette number three. And we're just going to pull the intensity right down because a vignette has to be very subtle. There we go. Very subtle. It just focuses your eye into the center of the frame. We just want to have a very low intensity on it. And all these small details add to the overall look of your shot. Let's do the same over here on this particular shot. We are then backtracking a bit. And then we're going to add a Gaussian blur. Let's move it above the vignette. And then we'll go to our opacity. Pull that down to about 12%. Let's take a look at the before and after. Here's the before shot, ungraded, untreated, with no grade or any post effects. This is the finalized graded shot. It's a huge, massive difference. It's done very easily, very effectively, and you can do this all on your mobile device. This technique will be of great value to a lot of people to get the most out of the footage. If there are any questions, place them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. So good luck with your grading and let's see what you come up with. Until next time, thank you.